Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thanks for joining us. Just sitting in Joy's Performance Model 3. And uh, there's a new software update this morning, 2020.8.1. And there's some improvements to track mode. So let's have a look right now. We've got track mode because it's a Performance Model 3. So let's press Customize. And uh, there are some presets already for us here. There's a race preset and a drift preset. So let's have a look at the race preset to start with. Handling balance, stability assist, regen braking, post drive cooling, compressor overclock, and saving dash cam for laps. All these can be customized now. Let's see what handling balance means. Handling balance, adjust torque and regen braking power distribution between the front and rear motors. Higher front bias results in increased understeer, while higher rear motor bias results in increased oversteer. Let's have a look at stability assist. Stability assist automatically brakes and distributes torque to prevent skidding or spinning out. High values offer more assistance when needed and lower values allow more freedom. Regen braking, just regen braking power from zero to 100%. High regen braking returns more energy to the battery, reduces the likelihood of your brakes overheating and generally results in reduced wear on brakes. Tesla recommends setting to 100%. Post drive cooling. Continue to cool your powertrain between laps while you're away from your car. This shortens recovery time for your next session, but consumes additional energy and generates noise. Compressor overclock. Allows the powertrain's cooling compressor to go into overdrive beyond its normal working rate when needed to sufficiently cool the powertrain and avoid limiting performance. Enabling overclock compressor results in reduced compressor lifespan. Cool, so that's for cooling the powertrain and saving dash cam for laps. When save dash cam for laps is enabled, track mode stores a video of your driving session when using the lap timer in addition to the car's telemetry data. Save dash cam for laps requires a supported USB drive plugged into your car. Please refer to the owner's manual. All right. Well, I guess when, uh, when you wanna go drifting with this car, the handling balance uh, distributes the uh, motors to rear wheel bias. As you can see there in that uh, picture there, let me see if I can show you that. It's uh, definitely real bi real bias there, whereas that's more front wheel bias. And stability assist goes right down, so it allows you much more freedom for your car. Of course, you can uh, add a new setting as well if you want to, you know, if you want to customize what you want to do with this car when you go racing. All right, guys. Well, um, that is track mode. I actually haven't tried that yet in this car. I'm not planning to anytime soon. Uh, I'm not too keen to wear the tires out at this stage, but if you have tried track mode and you're going to try it out with this software update in the Model 3, please let me know. I'd like to hear from you. Uh, even better, send me some video. Uh, I'll, I'll publish that for you on this channel too. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching, and as always, happy charging.